Do you have insomnia? Can you not even get to bed? Are you anxiety wound? Is there a lot of things going on that's preventing you from sleeping? That's preventing you from getting the best sleep of your life. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Fitness For You podcast. My name is Ricky Schick, and if you guys know anything about this channel, you know that this channel is all about getting into the best shape of your life, putting on muscle, burning body fat, right? And being able to take that body transformation and tell everyone, guess what? It is game time. So without further ado, hit that bell notification, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because the algorithm is vicious, and they need all the warriors at my display to help me out. Anyway, so... Today, we are going to talk about how sleep can help you burn body fat and put on muscle and why sleep is so important. And I think a lot of people overlook sleep in the grand sleep scheme of things, right? We're, we're looking to burn body fat. We're looking to put on muscle and we do the diet. We do the exercise, but we forget about sleep, right? And we forget that sleep is our secret weapon, right? So my question to you is, do you struggle to sleep at night? Can you get to sleep, but then you wake up in the middle of the night, right? Not being able to get back to bed. Do you have insomnia? Can you not even get to bed? Are you anxiety wound? Is there a lot of things going on that's preventing you from sleeping? That's preventing you from getting the best sleep of your life. And today we are going to tackle all of that so that you can go to bed at night soundly, sleeping like a little baby. Yeah. When I was in high school, I got into the habit of not being able to fall asleep. And for about a decade, I did not know why, right? And there were many things that I was doing that really sabotaged my sleep, but I didn't know at the time. It took me a very, very, very long time to figure it out. And I was really anxious because I couldn't go to sleep. So it would look something like this. I would get home from school. I would get home from the gym and I would start to get ready for bed. You know, I wouldn't wind down and I would, I would get into bed. I would wind up falling asleep, but then I would wake up in the middle of the night, like at 3 a.m. And I was wide awake and I was wired and I didn't know why. And at the time there were no smartphones really at the time. So I, I wasn't really looking at my phone. And I was, I was really upset that I couldn't go to sleep. And this was an ongoing thing. And I would wake up the next day and I would be irritable and I would have no energy. And, you know, I, I wouldn't know why I thought I was the problem. And I would just write it off and say, you know, well, I just have middle insomnia or I just have insomnia and I can't sleep. I'm the problem. Right. So 10 years later, you know, I'm going through this problem. I'm writing it off. I'm writing it off. I'm writing it off. And I start to say, okay, I really need to get a hold of this. I need to figure this out because I'm going to get married, right? And I don't want to disturb my wife when she goes to bed. There has to be a solution, right? So there was so much that I learned, right? I learned a lot and I'm going to share that with you guys today, right? So one thing that we tend to do when we go to bed is we tend to sabotage ourselves. And there are many things that we do that sabotage ourselves, right? One of the things that we do that kind of messes up our sleep, right? is we keep the temperature in our house super high and super, you know, super hot, right? And we do this because we want to save energy and we want to save on our electric bill. That is totally fine. I understand that, right? Um, but the natural sleeping temperature for somebody is 68 degrees, right? And when I was sleeping, I was keeping it at 75, right? And nightmares occur after 71, right? So what happens when it's super hot and you don't lower the temperature one way or another by opening up a window or turning on a fan or the AC? You are not able to fall into a deep REM sleep, right? And you'll have a, you know, a wake and a sleep cycle, right? You'll wake up, you'll go back to bed, you'll wake up, you'll go back to bed. And that's going to disrupt your, your sleeping pattern, right? Because it's so hot. Your body can't cool down. Your body naturally needs to cool down. Um, another thing that we do is we keep lights on in the house, right? We have a clock with light, right? We have maybe the window has light from the outside. And what we don't realize is when these lights are going on, right? 
they hit our eyelids. And even if our eyelids are closed, it, t it tricks the brain into thinking that it's daylight. So we're not going to drop into a deep sleep and we'll wake up the next day still feeling groggy, right? So one solution that you can do is you can have blackout curtains, right? You can turn the clock the other way, right? So that no light is getting into your room, right? Think about your room this way, right? If you want to burn body fat, if you want to put on muscle, you're going to need to sleep, right? Think of your room as a cave, a cold, dark cave so that you can fall deep, deep into REM sleep, right? Another thing that we need to do, right? Another thing that we need to do is we need to supplement with things that are going to help us, right? Yes, I'm looking at a script, by the way, because I can't remember all this <laughs> and I tend to shoot from the hip. But one thing that we need to do is we need to supplement, right? Or we should supplement. And there's a few supplements that actually help you get to sleep better at night. And one of them is melatonin, right? You need to take it before bed. And what that's going to do is that's going to actually help you fall asleep, right? And another thing that we need to do is we need to stop looking at our phones, right? There's been so many people that look at their phones and they, they go to bed at night and they're scrolling. I was one of them, right? I would go and I would scroll on my phone and then I would look and then I don't realize that the blue light was keeping me from falling asleep. So why do I say all this to you, right? When we don't get sleep at night, right, we become our body basically holds on to the body fat in one way or another, right? What we do is we become insulin insensitive. We become insulin resistant, right? Our body is so tired, right? We have so much metabolic stress, right? And what happens is we have a lot less energy when we wake up in the morning. So what does what happens when your body has less energy, right? It wants to eat more. So what are you going to do? You're going to get up and you're going to eat more calories, right? You're going to eat more calories and that's not going to help you get to your weight loss goal. So this is the takeaway, right? I want you to be able to take an hour before you go to bed at night, get off your phone, take some melatonin right? So you can fall asleep, right? I want you to cool off your house one way or another by either dropping the temperature with AC or a fan or a window, right? And I want you to have no lights in the room so that it's dark and you could fall asleep much better. And when I applied all of these different techniques, I was finally, after 10 years, able to get deep and restful sleep, and I was able to recover, I was able to burn body fat, I was able to get into the best shape of my life. So I want you guys to go ahead and do that. But anyway, guys, if you guys want to know the best weight loss supplements to lose body fat, it's in my previous video. I'm going to link it right over here and you guys should go check it out. But guys, you guys know the deal. Love your body, love your mind, and love your soul. And I'll see you next time.